Hello everyone and welcome to my channel And today I'll be reading a multi-character accessionary by me So let's get into it The own scare and have been lovers for quite some time now You love spending time together, laughing at each jokes and exploring the vast world of Teyvat However, there was one thing you have been hiding from him Your scars He had always been self-conscious about them Fearing they would turn people off or make them think less of you. And one day, as you were changing, Skirmish walked in and saw them. At first, you were mortified. You had never shown anyone your scars before. You turned away, expecting him to be repelled or disgusted. Instead, he walked up to you, gently turning you around to face him. He looked at your scars with a gentle loving expression, and leaned in to kiss them. Hey, Skira, what are you doing? You asked, surprised. I'm kissing your scars, he replied. They are a part of you, Ion, and they make you even more beautiful to me. He couldn't believe what you were hearing. I had always felt ashamed of your scars. But right here, Skirmish is showing you that they didn't define you. You hugged them tightly, waiting for his kindness and acceptance. Thank you, he whispered. I was so afraid that you would be repulsed by them. He smiled softly, kissing your forehead. Never. You're beautiful to me. Scars or no scars. From that moment on, he felt more confident and comfortable in your own skin. His acceptance and love had given you the courage to embrace your scars and see them as a part of who you are. He knew that you were lucky to have such a loving and caring partner, and you vowed to always show him the same level of kindness and acceptance that he had shown you. Because in your opinion, it was the very least of what Scaramouche deserved. Especially with how kind and loving he is. Venti. You and Venti had been dating for a while now, and you had always admired his carefree attitude and love for music. However, there was one thing that you had been hiding from him, and the thing in question was your scars. One day as you were changing, Vinci walked into the room and saw the scars on your body. He quickly tried to cover them up, feeling embarrassed and ashamed. Hey, why are you covering those up? Vinci asked, walking over to you. It's nothing, he replied, trying to brush it off. Vinci gently took your hand and led you to sit down on the bed. No, it's not nothing. I can see that they're bothering you. Why? Why are you hiding them? You hesitated for a moment, before finally opening up to him about your insecurities. You told him about how you had all sorts of conscience about your scars, and how you had feared that they would turn people off, or make them think that you're broken or damaged. But he listened to your story with a gentle look, and then leaned in to kiss your scars. Each and every single one of them, whispering, You don't have to be ashamed of these. They're part of who you are, Wyan. And they're beautiful. So, I think they're beautiful too. You were surprised by his words, but you were also deeply touched. You hugged him gently, feeling grateful for his kindness and understanding. Thank you. I... I was so afraid that you would judge me for them. Binti pulled away, looking into your eyes. Never. You're beautiful to me. Scars and all. Don't ever hide them from me again, okay? He nodded, feeling a newfound sense of confidence and acceptance. Binti's love and acceptance had given you the courage to embrace your scars and see them as part of who you are. Shall 
You didn't expect him to walk in on you while you were changing. In hindsight, perhaps it was your fault because you didn't tell him and you kept the door unlocked. He didn't mean to walk in. And when he walked in and saw the scars in your body, you turned away your face from him, expecting him to be disgusted or repulsed. Instead, he walked up to you and gently turned you around to face him. He looked at your scars with a gentle, loving expression. And Chow, who was not affectionate at all, decided to do something that would shock you. He leaned in, pressing his lips softly to each and every single scar. What happened? He asked softly, and you hesitated for a moment before opening up to him. You started by telling him how you had gotten the scars, and how you always felt ashamed, embarrassed, and ugly because of them. Shao listened to every single word with a calm expression, and then pulled you into a tight embrace. You're incredibly strong and brave, Wyon. He murmured, I'm proud of you, for surviving through such a difficult time. You were surprised by his words, but also deeply touched. Shao's love and acceptance had given you the courage to embrace your scars and see them as part of who you are. You know, I have some of my own too, he admitted, showing you a few in his own body. They remind me of my own battles and how I've come out stronger on the other side. And I think you should be proud of your own too. They make you even more beautiful and unique. Your scars tell stories, Wyon. He hugged him tightly, welling up, feeling grateful for his kindness and understanding. His acceptance and the way he talked had given you a newfound sense of confidence and pride in your own scars. Thank you. I was just so afraid that you would judge me for them. He pulled away, looking into your eyes. Never, Wyon. You're beautiful to me, scars and all. And that's when you truly knew that you and Chow were truly inseparable. He loved you, in a sense that no one else would be able to understand. And you were more than grateful for him. Because... You loved him just the same.